Imagine catching shoes for a married man. Shorty fast, slim thick. She might drug, she might fix. And I'm all up in her mix. She be mixing with the rich. Hi guys, it's your girl Shafi and welcome back to Shafi's Live. You already know the vibe. Thank you for clicking this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If this is your first time, don't forget to check out my other videos and click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when I post you will be the first to find out so let's get right into the video today's video is going to be a story time so you know what to do already get your popcorn get your drink chill relax and let's have a conversation let me give you guys the tea let me tell you guys what almost happened to me so today's story time is going to be a story time on how i almost became a side chick imagine it will me it will full package like this I almost became a side chick to a married man. Yes, a married man. Don't worry, get your popcorn. I'm giving you like two minutes. Gather your thoughts. Let's let's sit down. Let me give you the updates. In this video, since I'm not going to be name dropping anybody, we're going to name this supposed married man. We're going to name him Mr. K. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you guys my relationship with Mr. K. Mr. K is not somebody I actually knew. Apparently he knew me while growing up, but I don't know him. I Honestly, when I saw him, to me, that's the first time I'm actually laying my eyes on him. So, is it, everybody knows that I relocated and stuff like that. That's the story for another day. If you guys need the story time on my relocation, on my relocation, I'll make that. But that's the story for another day. Let's go back to, let's get back to the story. So this story, what? While I was relocating, of course, my mom and my dad and my sisters, they're like, oh, we've got somebody that we know that is here, that you can talk to, that can help you out, you know, like a guardian, something of that sort. So I was like, okay, cool, no problem. I can just call him. They sent me his number the moment I landed. But guess what? I have coconut head. I don't have time for all these unnecessary familiarities. So I didn't call him for a very, 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 very long time. And then one day I needed help with something, so I decided, why not? I have it. Obviously, obviously, I have it. So why not? If you can help me, let's just find out. So I called. It was friendly. It was all banter. Mr. K was nice. Let's be very. Mr. K is a nice person. This is this video is not to bash Mr. K, but but then Mr. K. So then it's like. My, my obviously is very close to my big sister mr k is a friend of my sister so i was like okay cool mr k can relate with you as per a young age you get what i'm saying he's not that old i as mr k is in his early 40s so he's like okay he can relate to you better it's easy to talk to and stuff so let's this is how my relationship with mr k started building up so i called him i bantered with him it was a very all fun and very cool easy conversation and then okay on to the next one it came to the situation whereby mr k and i had to meet as per we can't just be talking on the phone now so we met up and i'm like okay my family knows you my father knows you my mother knows you my sister knows you duh mr why would i not meet you everybody everybody thinks i know you but i feel like i don't know you so i met him it was cool he took me out to dinner i met a couple of his friends it was nice we spoke about obviously spoke about me being a medical student spoke about life with me spoke about not life him in general but work life and stuff money related as in our conversation were 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 brilliant because we, we came with something things relating to work things relating to how to make money we talked about trading and then i was still lucky into no i'm not, not into trading again but then i was still lucky into forex trading and stuff like that so we spoke we had a very bright conversation it was nice i went back home the calls the calls kept on but they were not like consistent but once in a while i was like oh checking up on you how are you how are you doing the favor i wanted he did the favor for me and i still appreciate it into the i actually love he did it for me he did help me out and then Moving on, it became a thing where we would hang out a couple of times. Mr. K and I, we, we hung out a couple of times with his friends. It was fun. They were fun to chew it. We would go out to eat. People know me. I like to eat out. So we we'll go out to eat out. We have fun. And then it became a situation whereby it's like boundaries. But everybody, was, everybody wants to start 
crossing boundaries now they just make some fun I'm, I'm with them because when i'm hanging with them i understand how they talk and stuff like that so i know these these men be out here having side chicks and stuff but i never just imagined it that one day they will put me in the <laughs> in the side side chick compartment do you get what i'm saying i i i personally just feel okay based on the relationship he just saw me as a younger sister and that was about it so the the relationship it, it kept on going it was phone calls sometimes sometimes we'll go out sometimes we'll not go out sometimes i'll just be on my own and stuff but you know miss if i have busy schedule and he has work too that's how it was and then i first from a personal point of view once i feel like people are i'm getting too close to people i tend to pull back so then i was like okay there, there needs to be a healthy distance so everybody understands where we are coming through bear it in mind that till now even with all the talking talking that we've gone through and him me knowing him from home and stuff i never met his wife i don't know his wife but i know that he's, he's married and he has kids that's all i know that is the only information i know but then i was expecting that with the way like i met him and like we have this formal relationship i should have met your wife by now that was the that's the idea in my head I, I should have met she's my auntie i should have known her oh, mr k when are you going to introduce me to the auntie to the wife not knowing that i'm never going to reach that level well so i decided to pull back sometimes when the calls i came those girls that say that they are busy in the middle of something anything to shall be to give the distance but then later i had to rethink i'm like why am i being mean to somebody that that Ne that necessarily didn't do anything to me so i was like okay not like he had actually been upfront with me or tell me anything it's just based on vibes that i said that okay i wasn't gonna go again but so i was like okay cool one time he reached out one last one next uh, the next time he reached out i was like oh i'm fine i'm doing this thing we decided to meet up all the excuses i've given in this world of which i kept on giving excuses back to back back to back that to the point where i felt bad that if I gave excuse this time, it will, uh, uh, it's, it's really too much. Do you get what I'm saying? So, I tried to go. We went. It was it was chilled. We're having a conversation. And his friends were there. It was honestly fine. Until the conversations of me becoming a, his girlfriend started. And I'm like, what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? well where i can't hear you what are you talking about i i don't understand like honestly i was confused you i, I wish you guys saw my face because i was like why why would i be your 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 girlfriend and then to think about it this man's like uh-uh she be you're like you're like 21 now you're old enough i was like oh excuse you i'm 22 not 21 so wait if i was 21 I don't understand like koye me in the first place me your girlfriend i'm like what i was shook but then i'm not really surprised because this is things that you get from men but then i don't get it personally this kind of attention i get it from obviously you get it from elderly men you get from all these things but then they don't come they're not bold enough to tell you that okay this is what i want let me not top it up he's not telling me because i'm like okay this is not gonna happen because obviously i'm seeing somebody and then he's like okay cool if you're seeing somebody that's fine as long as the person is not in the united states and i'm like huh huh so this man wants to make me his girlfriend but still give me rules and regulation first the person i'm seeing must not be in the united states second of all i must not be seeing anybody in the united states so if i'm actually if i actually agree to be this man's girlfriend obviously it's going to give me allowance as per my sugar daddy you'll be paying me give me allowance it's going to take care of me i'll be out here carrying designer bags left and right like this i'll just be balling back to back but i must not be involved with any other person except from him and then i'm like help me understand something you're a married person you've got your wife at home me i will not be loyal to you you're asking for loyalty but you are married a moment of silence what i will not be like i'm, I'm dating somebody <laughs> who is he i can't even say of which is like oh no problem you can post this man gave me things i can do 
telling me I will have the freedom to do this. It will take care of me. You will be my guardian. You you provide all. He gave me all the things he's going to provide for me if I decide to be his girlfriend. And then I'm looking at you and I'm like, this is somebody that's supposed to be a guardian. This is somebody that you're supposed to put like lead me in the right path. Do you get what I'm saying? So you will not ask that me I be sleeping with you because you want to help me or you might you have the probability of helping me something like that and I'm like it's not gonna happen what is not going to happen is me opening my legs for you never it's not going to happen and then it's like I'm gonna give you time to think about it it's gonna cause it was like oh we're gonna go on I should go on a road trip with him Mr K me I should go on a road trip with you. I will now carry my leg. I just had it. What I just thought about it is that this is how they they take advantage of naive young ladies out there. A lot of people have stories of how they've been molested and sexually harassed because of this. So me, I'll carry my leg and follow you inside car. We'll now go on a road trip together. Anything that now happens there is my fault too, because it's me that carry myself and enter car with man when I knew that his intentions were not pure. And I'm just like. Honestly, throughout the whole night, it was just wild. Like, I, see, the moment he said that, I, I became very uncomfortable. Because I'm like, I don't see you again as as my big brother. Or like my big uncle. It, it has become something. Next level. His matter. I've left, this, I've left the chat. And I'm like, so when I don't call, now, now, now. It's a situation whereby, oh, Sheffy, you don't call. Sheffy, you don't. And I'm like, why am I going to call you? You, you know the reason why I'm not calling you. Men, men will embarrass you because I cannot even put myself in the position of his wife. I'm already irritated in a, in a shoe. May I be, mm, mm. And I was like, ah, we're not gonna have it, so what is not gonna happen? It's me opening my legs up for you, and me, I'll be claiming boyfriend. Why you're happily when I know that you're happily married? It's a different thing if you're a single guy. Sorry, if you're single, it's a different thing if you're even in a relationship because I know that you have no hey, it's you, well, but you have no. Don't quote me, Sheffy did not say it. But you get what I'm talking about. <laughs> me, I will not open my I will not follow you and be like, that's my man. Or I'll never be able to post my I'll not turn to those girls that I used to cover. <laughs> I'll put emoji. <laughs> put emoji on his face. Or I'll, I'll cover it. I'll show it only the hand. Because what? I know that I'm doing something I'm not supposed to do. That's just wrong. No amount of money. There's nothing that you want to offer me that will make me do that to somebody else. I just feel like that's next level. It's just being evil pure evil knowing that and then consciously doing it just because of benefits that i can gain from it but now till today oh, i know it's to call if you call i'll pick hello how are you i'm fine we move that's the end though because really because i feel like the things that you offer me i don't have to sleep with you to actually eventually get it. what's this for me we find me if it's designer that i want that i want today it's still me sleeping with you eventually one day somebody will send me my god will send me my baby boy my baby boy will buy it for me there's no need for me to be sleeping with somebody's husband to achieve that honestly if you don't learn anything from what is my story time shall take away that it's not necessary for you to do that there's no need to destroy somebody's home obviously we already know the home is already shaky don't add it. Don't be. Don't add yourself to the whole equation. It's just a very toxic situation to add yourself into. And then let me tell you. By the time you start sleeping with people like this, he's already married. By the time you open your legs for somebody like this, you start catching. You not catch feelings. Imagine catching feelings for a married man. What's your excuse? How will you tell people how to know? Your hands will just break anyhow. They'll destroy you. At your yeah, men are not smiling. You have to be wise. You have to use your number six. Use your. Mm. You don't have to be a Lagos girl, but use your Lagos sense, honestly. That's all, that's all about my story time. Till today, whenever I see him, hi, 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 I've created boundaries that, that are not to be crossed. And I've made my point clear that it's not going to happen. What, what you're thinking about could happen. But as far as somebody that I met through family, I have the respect for you. So if you come to me and you say, Ah, Chef Mia, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Hi, ah, family. Family is fine. If you are going to help me, you will help me. No strings attached. Don't expect anything in return. Period. Period. So this is going to be the end of my story time. I don't have much to say. This is going to be the end of my story time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys like this story and you want more about my life, about Mr. K and Co, or you guys would like 
updates on Mr. There's no even updates because I'm not going back to go even talk to you for me to even have updates for you guys. So if you guys like more story times, just let me know in the comments. Do you know, just let me know in the comment section. If you like it, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.